everyone, welcome to workout three of the strength series. Um, today I am in Kaikoura. Kaikoura! <laughs> we are traveling down to Wanaka this week. We get to experience doing this workout virtually in Kaikoura. I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyway. Um, so about this workout anyway, uh, usual format. Um, this week we have balance and stability. And then uh, we've got the strength section, which uh, includes mini bands, resistance bands. Um, but I'll explain more, more about that when we get into that section. And then it is followed by some yoga sort of stretching as well at the end. Go grab your resistance bands, and if you haven't already, and come join me back on the mat, and we'll get started with the balance and stability. And I'll explain more when we get there. Right, we'll get into the first part of this workout, balance and stability uh, workout today. So today there are four exercises um, and you do each side twice. Um, so you go through the whole workout twice and for the workout the timing is uh, 30 seconds with a 15 second break. And the four exercises are, um, the first one is you're going out you're gonna go like this, and then you're going to squat down and touch uh, your your foot with the back of your calf. Then you're gonna extend out. Don't worry if you can't go too high, but make sure that you come down into that squat. Awesome. That's the first exercise for balance and stability. The second one, you're gonna lift your leg up, you're gonna extend your foot out, you're gonna point the toe, and you're going to circle round. Then you're going to come up, point, circle round. Awesome. Third exercise is you're going to squat, 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 jump up. Squat, 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 jump up. If you don't want to jump up, just do um, a normal squat or come up onto that calf raise. And then the fourth exercise is that we're on the ground and you're going to keep one foot on the ground and then with this foot you're going to start with your foot flexed. You're going to come up, point your toe, flex your foot and then come back down. Come up, point your toe, flex your foot and then come back down. Awesome. I'll, give, I'll be giving you some subtle reminders as we go along but we shall get into it. Now, first exercise. <sighs> right, we stand side on, 30 seconds, one side and then the other side. Ooh, if you come off balance, it's okay. Squat down, stand out. If you don't have shoes on, that's fine. You might like to do this exercise with no shoes. Right.
Now you want to focus on a point on the ground. Awesome, break again. Stand up tall as well when you do this exercise. Cool, flex that foot, extend the leg, point the toe. Feel like you can make your leg longer than it actually is, so really stretch with that toe. Point, Whee!
far can you go in that squat? How far can you extend that leg out?
end of the balance and stability section. Um, we will be moving on to the strength, strength section. And uh, today, um, you are going to need resistance bands. So with all these exercises um, in this strength, uh, you will be able to do them without resistance bands. Obviously the idea of resistance bands is to create resistance. It's all that they do. Um, and so yeah, but if you have them, um, you could alternate between using a, sort of like a medium, light to medium and a heavier one, just depending on uh, how you're feeling and what you want to do. Um, I'm just going to stop my watch in uh, two seconds, just so um, pause there on the old garment. Um, and I'm just going to explain the timing. So the timing of this uh, workout is 40 seconds of work um, with a 20 second break. And there is a series of four exercises and then you get a minute break. Um, and all the exercises are different and I'm just going to explain as we go. Um, they're all fairly simple. Okay, so I'm going to... So on that note, um, with each, I'm going to start off with the heavier one. Okay, so with this exercise, I want you to pop it above your knee. Not on your knee, above your knee. Okay, and like I said, it's that 40 seconds work, that 20 second break. Um, and just keep an eye out for the preview in the screen. So I'll talk you through them. Okay, let's go. So, with this, the first exercise, This one, you know, walk up like this, one side, and then the other. This is preview, by the way. So walk up, stay low. Okay, when you do this, so pick which side. Up to the band, behave. Cool, off you go to your 40 seconds. the band.
you sort that band out. If you wanted to, you can take the band off totally. Cool. More about, important about staying low um, and keep it tension on that way. Do it sort of side on. So we're going to do it on the other side. Go up, up, down. Yeah, yeah, love malfunctions like this. All good. Nice and controlled. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping it real for you guys. Tension. burning face like oh good one 
Well, you get a decent break here actually, a minute 20. So we're coming down to the mat. mat. Uh, keep your um, lighter resistance band handy. Bit of core and lower back and upper back. Now, if you're feeling full of energy, you can always, uh, you know, hold it. I hold a secret plank while I'm doing this, explaining this. But anyway, if not, first exercise: your head, your head, sorry, your forehead stays in your hands, and you lift up your legs. So the aim is to get your quads off the ground. Um, it's a bit of a strength indicator. If you can, means that you've got good um, like lower back strength. If you can't, um, it means that you're at work in progress. Um, but yeah, so you'll be feeling it in your lower back and maybe a bit in your glutes and hamstrings as well. Here for 40 seconds. Two rounds of this. Right. Right off you go. Point those toes. Squeeze your glutes. Your quads, your hamstrings. resistance band if you like as well but if you want to you can use one I'd recommend using a lighter one and it's going to lift up but effective. So if you need to stretch out your back, just come into child's pose. <laughs> so yeah.
Change and over. I like using a lighter one with this movement. Guess to get. Clam shell. Right. Feet together, open up. Guessing that again. Here. Definitely moving that's effective without the resistance band as well. Open up like a clam. Cool. Other side. So keep those those outside of your feet together and just open up like a clam and feel it all out here in those feet, about 45 degrees. Last round of the workout, and then we got stretches. Nice long stretches today. Remember that option. Out. Out. Let's get into stretches. Welcome, we're going to do the stretch part. I'm just looking at my shoelace. You can take your shoes off if you this. If you like, I may as well do that. Maybe your socks as well. Cool, we're going to do some yoga -y kind of stuff. So I want you to come to the top of your mat if you have one. And I just want you to 
come up, stand tall, palms facing together, feet together, breathing in and out. And then I want you to push your hands away and then I want you to dive down, hands high. And then I want you to come down to the ground. And I want you to bend your knees as much as you need to so that your hands touch the ground. Because you're gonna walk out your hips. And then from here, you can come into a downward dog. Gonna come to a plank and pop your knees down. Relax those feet, tops of your feet on the ground. Down, come down to the ground, roll those shoulders and come up into an up dog. <sighs> Breathing out, pushing back into a child's pose. And then we're gonna do that again. So come into a down dog. Come into a plank. Either keep your uh, knees off the ground or bring them to the ground. You're gonna come up and do a push, push up, come down to the ground, then up dog or cobra. And then coming back straight into a down dog. Then one more time. Pick your option to come down through up dog. Plank this time. Lift leg up, right foot down, then come up into a warrior. Palms, fingers together, hook down that front arm. Salutation. So, I'm moving, resting that hand on that leg. Smile. Then you're going to push up from that front leg, and then you're going to come down. Step, you're going to extend this leg, toe pointing up, heel off the ground, kind of like out to the side. You're going to keep that chest open, getting a nice stretch down here. Then you're going to walk your hands to the front of the mat again, and you're going to come into a down dog. Then you're gonna come into that plank. Then you're gonna come down to a push up and an up dog. Then the other side, right foot up. Left foot down on that right angle. I'm gonna have my back to you. But look down that front arm. Sun salutation, look up. to the thigh and the hand up look up then push up onto the other side remember that foot in the air heel off the ground nice good stretch Nice, 
press and then you're going to walk forward and then you're going to come, you're going to pop the left leg down, it's going to come here, hold here, nice deep stretch through your glutes, hang your head, relax. here and just going to do a cat cows arch that back hollow that back arch again hollow bring the other foot forward not too far forward that it's like out of line. Just relax here. Pigeon stretch, so bring foot up. Try it at right angle, but if not, but make sure you have your weight to the outside, that leg strong, and just come down wherever is comfortable. If it's here, that's fine. If it's down here, that's fine. Quite a painful stretch. Other side. completing this workout hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed the resistance and I shall see you next week